So here's an example where we have a column or a peer or a post all represent a column that is under load. This is how we can make the, um, the questions awkward for an exam, where we know that we have a load of 120 being applied in the center. So in terms of the stress from that, it, you know, it's 120 divided by the area, and that will be the same stress at A, B, C, and D. There's no moment from the, from the 120. So, so in terms of our M over Z, you've got 120 times by distance zero, so you don't have to add the M over Z for this one. However, we've got this awkward load here called W kilonewtons. We're told that W is 180 from the, um, from the center. The question is, um, if the maximum stress on BC is 80, so in terms of our formula, we have our stress is 80 equals, and then we have to put these two forces into our formula. Now we can put in the 120 divided by our area, quite easy. In terms of the M, we need our moment. What is our moment? Our moment is W times by 180. And then we've got our Z value. So I'll, t I'll take you through um, this, this question, what, what I have on the, um, on the PowerPoint. Where given what size column it is, this is where you're going to be getting your area from and your Z, your elastic modulus. So we go to our table at the back, pick off the correct column, which is this one here. And then we go all the way along to our area. Our area is 47.1 centimeters squared. So that's our area. And then we want our Z value. So elastic modulus, like I don't know if you've got a Z written on your, on your back page, but elastic modulus is the Z. Your plastic modulus is often represented by an S. So we've got our elastic modulus, and for this example, it's going to be twisting about the X axis. Now note, we normally have X axis that way, don't we? And Y this way. X axis is the um, is the is the axis where you get the most um, stiffness, most um, resistance. So you find that when you look at tables, if that was longer this way, it's usually X X. But if you find that it was sh shorter, you find that the X X would be across that way. But main thing to to look at is that when we're looking at our bending stresses, we're going to be looking at our stresses about the X X axis. There's no there's no moment about the, the, the y-axis because it's, um, moment would be um, force times by the distance. The distance is zero. So all we need is our, um, is our zxx value, which is our 273. And again, that's centimeters cubed. So I've just got to put everything into millimeters. Right, at, at the top, what we have is all of the values taken from the table. And the question is, what is W? So overall, what we have to do, we have to look at each of the forces, find out our direct stress and our, our bending moment stress. For our direct stress, it's 120,000. It'll be divided by our area of 4,710. But there'll also be a direct stress for our W our direct stress is W divided by the area. So I've just split these into direct stress and bending stress. So our direct stress is the middle force over the area. We'll also be adding the, the W over the area. So that's the first part of the equation taken out. In terms of the bending stress, we don't have any bending stress for the 120 because it's in the middle. So therefore we haven't got an M over Z for the 120. But for the W, our M is 
W times by 180, so that's our moment, divided by our ZXX. So the question was, if the stress along here is 80, what is our W? So if our stress is 80, and you've just got to make sure that you get, you get your positives and negatives right when you're adding together your direct stress and your bending stress. So it's in compression, so we've got plus F over A. In terms of this force, it will be twisting the column that way, and it will be creating a tension along here, sorry, a compression along here, which will be positive, and a tension along there, which will be negative. So by looking at this side, so it's the compressive direct stress plus a compressive stress equals 80. The only unknown that we have there is the W, then we can work out what our maximum W would be.